Okay, let's get this cubic so that there's x on one side. So I'm going to um, add 4x and 5 cube root both sides. So I've got my iteration formula here. Um, so to be very proper, I should write this out properly. Um, cube root 4xn plus 5. Okay, so let's take x0 to be 2. And then we're going to go ahead and use a calculator. So tell the calculator x equals 2 by heading 2 equals. Uh, so now the calculator thinks the answer is 2. So cube root 4 answer plus 5. Okay, hit that. I only get 2.351 dot dot dot. Hit that again. 2.433 dot dot dot. And so on. And I can just go back. I'm pretty happy that I've got this number to stabilize to the third significant figure, one, two, three. So I'm happy to say x equals 2.46 to 3SF. Okay, so on the normal, uh, on the natural view, it would look like this cube root. Notice here I don't need the brackets because um, once I've hit that cube root key, it's expecting. Uh, uh, an expression to go in there. So if I do that, I should get the same values. Yeah, great. 